Today, the Federal Reserve opted not to raise interest rates for the first time in 15 months. Comes after 10 straight raises to uh, fight high inflation. But the Fed says it could raise rates two more times this year, possibly as soon as next month. ABC's Morgan Norwood takes a closer look. After a series of aggressive interest rate hikes over the past 15 months, the Federal Reserve holding off on increasing key rates again, at least for now. We have been seeing the effects of our policy tightening on demand in the most interest rate sensitive sectors of the economy. It will take time, however, for the full effects of monetary restraint to be realized. It comes after new numbers show that inflation has cooled, but still remains at a level double the Fed's target of 2%. Inflation numbers were good enough to validate the Fed's stance of pausing from rate hikes this month in June. While the interest rate hikes seemingly helping to stall inflation, prices are still going up for many daily essentials. American households are paying an extra $260 every month for the same goods and services compared to this time last year. For example, a gallon of milk is about $4, 20 cents less than last summer, but a lot more than three fifty two two years ago. And when it comes to consumer spending and hiring, those have remained solid too, with Americans continuing to buy despite the rise in prices. A jobs report earlier this month showed the labor market added close to 340,000 jobs. But regardless of all those gains, economists don't think we're out of the woods just yet. The fact is we don't see continued improvement on the inflation front and uh, some of the easing in the labor market. If we don't see both of those things, the Fed is likely to be back in the game of raising interest rates. Now, economists say that improvement may not come quickly, right? Adding that it could take a while to get down to that 2% inflation rate that the Fed is targeting, meaning more rate hikes are not out of the question. In fact, the majority of policymakers are forecasting at least two more quarter point increases. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.